All right. Good Saturday morning. So this one's uh, the Alexandria game. Um, so far, I've got through only the first couple periods, one and a half periods, and it's pretty consistent themes. Um, and it, it kind of boils down to play without the puck. Um, Alexandria won this game in June and August when they were doing dry land and off ice uh, practice, um, puck work, shooting pucks. Um, there's no simple adjustments or, or coaching adjustments that we can say, hey, girls, if we just do this, we're going to beat that team. Because across the board, their girls could skate and stick handle and pass, and they would find lanes. Uh, the, the most common theme I've already seen just in the first period and a half here is uh, just our play without the puck, finding lanes, creating lanes, giving ourselves uh, outlet passes uh, more, more safely, and then more aggressively, we're not creating passing lanes. We're just watching our teammates skate with the puck and kind of getting open in a, in a useless way. Like, I'm open right here, but you're skating backwards in – no man's land. You're not in a position here. So we're just not playing well without the puck. And that shows up in games like this. Uh, yesterday, uh, I had, in the locker, I'd kind of said, um, they're just so much faster than us. Uh, yes, that's true. Um, it's hard to, to get a good gauge on how this game went because of that. But at the same time, um, that's what makes this game so useful to break down. Uh, when we play B teams, like MPC or, or whoever, everything looks great because we're just, it, it's B hockey and we're able to play B style hockey uh, and just get by on our skills. Lots of bad habits, but they can't take the puck from us. So it looks great. Games like this, every, every level you move up, whether it's 12B to 12A, 12A to, to 15A, 15B to 15A, up to, to high school, to varsity, every level you move up, it gets more and more important, your play without the puck. Being able to control the puck, um, stick handling, passing, like making a pass tape to tape and hitting the girl on the forehand, that's table stakes. It shouldn't be, oh, that girl passes really well because she can make a, a simple pass and hit a girl in stride on the forehand. That, that's 12B hockey. Um, every level you move up, Play without the play, finding play without the puck, finding passing lanes, and creating passing lanes becomes more and more important. Every level you move up, hockey IQ becomes more and more important. If we're playing 15B hockey, it's not that complicated. Their girls are stumbling around. Our girl, if you can control the puck, you just pick up the puck, and they just can't take it from you. You, you don't even have to be fast. If you're strong with your stick, you can just weave through the ice, knock girls over, barrel them over, stay with the puck, and shoot, and probably score. Um, that doesn't cut it in 15A. So um, you have to be smart without the puck. And so this will be a, a good test uh, or a, a good showing for what we all need to improve um, systematically, play without the puck. And then also skills-wise, um, it becomes really obvious that we struggle to catch a pass. With Alexandria, every one of their girls can hit, make a pass, hit the girl in stride. That girl being hit in stride when that tape is a nice tape-to-tape -tape pass on the forehand, that girl will catch the pass eight out of 10 times. That's, again, table stakes for 12A hockey. 15, we need to be able to catch a pass, and we need to be able to make a pass. Um, just those simple things, at this point, it's going to have to be off ice. You guys are going to have to stick handle at home. Uh, you're going to have to get on the pass master and, and learn how to make a crisp pass that isn't fluttering. Um, you're going to have to shoot pucks at home, learn to get your hands out and actually fire the puck. Um, you're going to have to start doing squats and, and doing some runs because it, it shows up. We did get a battle in the corner and against strong teams where everyone's a good skater. If there's a little bit of a fight in the corner, we fall down because we're weak on our skate uh, in open space. looks like we've got a great break. If we don't lose the puck, we get caught because they're just faster. So that's where all of the off-season work starts showing up, who's doing it and who's not. Um, and it's going to get more important as the girls get older. So we'll go through this one, see how it goes. Um, but again, you'll, you'll see the themes here. Uh, we're just not creating lanes away from the puck. 
we're not supporting the puck carrier. And that really is a bad thing because our puck carriers are not strong enough against good teams to, to just muscle the puck down the ice. So uh, here we go.